Hey, what's up you guys? It's Allie, back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a story time. So a few days ago, I, I'm i spinning on my chair because it's like really comfortable. So. Bye. Oh, my dog's sleeping. So I'm going to be doing a story time of how my pig line decided to not work. So, every week I have a nurse that comes and she takes blood from me from my pig line. What you do is you push in a saline syringe and then you pull out and blood's supposed to come out. But, water was coming out. No blood. So we tried it again. Like, maybe there's like a little clot and it's like a little stuck. No blood. <laughs> And I started freaking out. I was like, why is no blood coming? Am I going to die? Because like, I don't feel like dying today. Next, we say, okay, let's take blood from your other arm. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. So I'm going to be difficult. And that's what I did. So she calls my pharmacist and is like, um, she's not letting me take blood. And I can't get blood out of her pick line. So I think we need to order um, medicine that's going to remove the clot that's in there. Because if your pick line's not working, it means something's wrong with your vein. You have a clot, which is like just a big blood goop. <laughs> but mine is annoying because I could get medicine into it, but blood isn't coming out. So it's technically working. Just like not okay happened after that was she left and the next day we got a medication something oh called cut flow and what it does is it breaks up the clot and yeah it's a syringe and you syringe it into your line so another nurse came and we did that and guess what we got blood the first time after 30 minutes of waiting for the medicine to work guess what happened after Blood stopped coming. You have to take blood out because the medicine's still in it, so you have to take out a certain amount of blood. So we got that blood out, and we got the clot out because you could literally see the blood goop. Why can I not talk? Blood goop out. The clot. And now my blood's going slow and is not giving any more blood. So this is where I start freaking out. She's like, okay, now we just need to wait 90 minutes. And I'm like, that's a long time. And I'm bored and I want to go back to bed. I was so annoyed. I did not want to wait 90 minutes. So we waited like an hour and we tried again. We filled up a vial of blood. Note, I have to give five vials of blood. <laughs> we filled up a vial and a half. In 10 minutes, that's how slow my blood was coming out. So I'm like, great, the medicine didn't work. Now I have to go to the hospital. So yesterday was the ticket parade in New York City, and I was going to that. And my dad was like, oh, I guess I have to do it after the ticket parade. And I'm like, that's a great way to end my day. Like, So the... Next day comes, I go to the ticket parade, which was like fun. Then I had to go to the hospital. I'm not good with doctors. I am, um, if you notice my eyes are tearing, it's cause I yawned. I hate doctors. I hate going to them. I cry every single time. I have panic attacks going to them cause I don't wanna go. So I um, was crying in the car. I said, I'm not getting out when we were in the middle of the hospital, like, ways where you drive in and then, like, other people are coming in. So, I'm like, I'm not getting out and you can't pull me out because I have a pick line. I thought I was so clever by saying that. I wasn't. My dad was like, Allie, you need to get out of the car. We have this appointment that was made and you need to do this because he was going to get charged if I didn't do it. And he's like, I took off the full day of work. You need to go and do this now. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. And then I get out of the car. <laughs> Five minutes later, I get out of the car. And I'm like, Allie, pull yourself together. I said, Allie, you're going to do this. 
I don't care what you want, you're going to do this. No, I also had a stomachache, so I didn't want to throw up on the table or anything. <laughs> so, I don't know, we get there, we go and, and sit in the hospital chairs, like, in the waiting room, and I'm like, I'm not getting up. And I'm like, Dad, you go check me in in radiology, and I'll come down, like, when you need me. Like, let me just chill here. He goes down, they need you to check in. And I'm like, you're kidding me. And she used to see me. She's. I was like, I don't want to go. But I went. I was a trooper. And I was not happy about it at all. So we're sitting there waiting. They finally call me. It was like two minutes. I don't know why I'm being so overdramatic. But they call me in. We walk back into the room. Wait, Wayne. But I was freaking out. And it was scary. And then they pulled me in to the room. She's like, we have magical genies here. So sometimes when I flush the saline, blood will actually come out right away. So I'm like, oh, like, cool. Maybe the magical genies will help. And I'm like, they're not going to help. Blood's not going to come out. I'm going to need a new big line. Blood freaking came out. So we went to the hospital for no reason. I had 500 panic attacks for no reason. And she's like, let me try again because maybe that was just like a little bit that came out. More blood. I'm like, you're kidding me. And she's like, no, like, I'll just change your dressing and then you can go home. And I'm like, oh my god. And I was so excited when she told me I could go home. Because I'm like, huh, huh. I told you guys that I needed a new pick line and I didn't. That's the third time I've yawned. I was like so excited when she told me I got to go home. Because the procedure would have taken like 30 minutes. And I was not excited for it at all. Because what they would have done was stuck a wire into the tube in my arm. Pulled that tube off and put a different tube on. It's not fun. So, after all, the medicine, the cut flow thing, must have needed more time to work, and it took the time to work, and it got the clot out. So that's my story time for today of how my pick line decided to not work and then work. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next week.